I'm Stephen's mom. This is Stephen Webster of Stephen's Woodshop. He's the guy who builds the wishing wells. This is his largest wishing well. Um, has dark mahogany stain, cedar shingles on the roof. It sells for $300. The little one in front is um, made out of white PVC. It sells for $100. It's great at receptions to collect cards on tables, or it could be used as a planter. We also have a mid-sized well. Okay, back when Stephen was in high school, and we had to figure out what to do when that big yellow bus quit coming to pick him up, we were fortunate because Butler County DD has a wonderful transition series that we started to attend. We would go once a week, or once a month during the school year and learn about all the different facets of life that we were going to be encountering once he was out of the school system. We learned about um, Social Security and Medicaid and recreation and leisure activities, and we also learned about something called a, um, a path, which is where we gathered a bunch of family and friends together who knew Stephen and cared about him, and we came up with a plan for what might be a, a future pathway that his life would take. From there, um, different people knew different people, and we made connections. Eventually, he um, connected with a woman named Carol Buckner, who helped him discover what his passions and interests really were. As it turned out, uh, what the job coach that was taking him to these jobs had some extra time that he could use with Stephen. And so he um, said, well, what does Stephen like to do? And I said, well, he loves to hammer. And so did this job coach like to build things. So the next time he came, he came with um, a great big tote full of wooden bricks that he had cut from scraps left over from projects at his house. Um, and he sat down with Stephen on the garage floor and they started hammering these little bricks into a circle. So that by the time he left that day, they had a circle a couple uh, levels high and Stephen was thrilled with it. So the next time he came back, they continued building on their circle and it turned into a wishing well. And that was the start of Stephen's business. Um, when Carol saw that, she said, we could do something with this. And she was able to get a grant from the ARC and um, that was enough to get him started on some tools and enough lumber to build several wishing wells. This is a, uh, a positioning jig for the six inch blocks where Stephen puts them in the slot here and you pull them back and then the holes you saw are drilled at the other station and he sticks the nails in the holes and then he hammers them in and he goes over and does the next block and then the next block and when he gets one row done this whole jig lifts up and rotates then he does the next layer, the same matter. Just over and over, just keeps building up. If it wasn't for Carol Buckner, I'm not sure where we would be today. Um, she was the one who was able to help Stephen think through what he needed to do, to find the jobs to employ him in the community, which was always a goal of ours. She was able to um, help him um, come up with a business, figure out how to do a business plan, work with us so that we could um, come up with the funds to start a business. She was totally, truly instrumental in getting everything started for Stevens Woodshop, which is now um, a business that that is doing really well.